amylofibrosis, there is a proportion of the patient who have a mutation in one gene, a mutation which is acquired, this is not congenital, and the mutation is only in the, in the blood cells. So 60% of the patients have the mutation, while 40% of them don't have the mutation. So based on this discovery of the mutation that was in 2005, it was the idea of blocking the JAK2. And the uh, surprise has been that the drug uh, inhibit the JAK, not only JAK2, but also JAK1, but uh, is also effective in patients who lack the, the mutations. So these patients have, even not having the, the mutation, have a dysregulated JAK pathway. This is a molecular pathway. And because of this, if we can impact this, uh, this regulation, we can get benefit also in patients lacking the mutations. So this is the basis, more or less. So, okay.